Alrighty folks, it's Anasos. Welcome back for another episode of Blood and Bones. I have updated to the 115 version and I'm staring at my snow golem for no real reason other than it's kind of silly looking like really close up and it just made me laugh. At any rate, um, yeah, back from the nether, did a bunch of exploring and, and fighting and stuff last episode and really beat up all my armor and in particular destroyed my helmet because I kept getting my head stuck in the ceiling all over the place. So got a brand new Tardarite helmet, got 32 levels, let's get a really nice enchant and well that's not really nice but what the heck. Still gives us plenty of uh, little natural absorption hearts. Protection would have been nice. Uh, I did take a quick look at repairing these and um, the ones that only have two enchants on them are not too tough to repair. Uh, they, they're they going to take some levels of course in the uh, anvil over there but the ones that have three, so the leggings take a fair amount but are repairable and the boots take a fair amount but I think if I make another pair of boots uh, unenchanted and use that then it'll be much easier. So I may just go ahead and repair those guys up. Yes, I know I can make a witchery armor protection poppet. I looked at it. I, I don't know. I'm just not going to do it. I'm just going to repair it with the anvil. So there you go. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, right. So I did finally get one skeleton skull, and I wanted to make a note that when I found skeletons, they weren't like regular skeletons and wither skeletons. They were all the wither color, the black color, and... Um, when you moused over them and got the uh, damage indicators to show up it would say like poison skeleton or sniper skeleton or whatever and this did drop from I think it was a sniper skeleton so uh, I was starting to wonder if like special mobs was gonna cause them not to drop or something weird but uh, no they, they do drop they drop from all the different skeletons now it seems like alright so we have cool tardarite armor, we've got a flying broom, we've got particle glove, which is really neat. Oh, I need to recharge you, don't I? Yes. What else could we possibly want? Well, more power, of course, right? Excuse me, door. Um, so what can we do to get some more power? And that is going to make me super hungry. Let's just eat something really good so I don't have to worry about eating like every five seconds here about, well, it's not super good, but sure, we'll eat a cheeseburger. Uh, no, no, there, there, and there. Yes! That'll give me a little bit of saturation, that, so that's good. And sure, I'll eat a smoothie too, what the heck. Okay, what else can we make? Well, why don't we make, and it's so long it goes off the edge. Oh, it doesn't work that way? Okay, it doesn't work that way. Why don't we do some blood magic? I mean, it is blood and bones, so, you know, doing some blood magic sounds like a thing, right? Alright, so if you know blood magic forward backwards, this is going to be a little tutorial-y for you, rudimentary, whatever. If you haven't done blood magic before, you're definitely going to want to check this out, because uh, I am no blood magic expert, but I looked up enough and played with it enough just to kind of figure out what the heck is going on with this thing. And in the end, this can be super powerful, but it's going to take a while to get there. So, basically, uh, if you guys don't know how I did this, you just go to your mod, and then you shift-click. So if I want a bigger actor, shift-click it, and I can see all the bigger actor stuff. Uh, shift-click it, and I can see all the blood magic stuff. So, one page of stuff. And we're going to start with this blood altar. Yeah, there's the recipe. Thanks, Yamas. Uh, two blocks of infoscolium, two blocks of orichalcum, uh, two angmalin, so this is all metallurgy stuff, a bronze furnace, also for metallurgy, and a diamond. Obviously that's not the standard recipe. Uh, so I have, uh, like I showed last, uh, here we go, last episode I made uh, three blocks of infoscolium because that's how much I had left. And I put one over here in the um, smeltery. There we go. And in Fiscolium, one ingot. And that's how I protected them from getting kind of messed up when we went from 113 to 115. Uh, but now, suddenly I'm going to use up two of those three blocks. And now I really have to go digging in the uh, dream world again. Uh, 
At any rate, we're going to start with this blood altar. And the other thing we need is a sacrificial knife. And I think it's like that. Yes. So uh, basically, blood magic all works on blood. So we need an altar to put the blood in and a little sacrificial knife to get the blood out of us. Sounds like fun, huh? Especially in a pack where you don't have natural regen normally. So we do have some regen now and we've got some um, uh, good foods and stuff that will help us regen. But let's, let's check this out. I, I will say I have not tried this in Blood and Bones. I was messing with this in um, Monster a while ago just to get the basics down. But we will have to see how exactly this works in Blood and Bones. So, off camera, I made a little uh, pyramid here kind of thing. Uh, this is not the official final thing. But basically the deal is, to start out, you just need this blood altar. You can put it anywhere you want. Why is it not showing up? That's really weird. Huh. Well, hopefully it'll place properly. You can place it anywhere you want, but then as we go down uh, the blood magic line and we do more and more stuff, you're going to upgrade it to larger and larger altars, and basically this is going to be kind of the basic form for doing that. And of course I just put some uh, stairs here so I can get up and down without jumping. So let's place this guy here. Yes, okay. I have no idea why it wasn't showing in my hand. Uh, could have been a texture pack bug because I am running the faithful texture pack. Uh, so basically we want to fill this guy up and put some life essence in there. So we right click with this and it's going to hurt. And then there's going to be, since we're near the altar, it's going to put a little bit of life essence in there. You don't have to click on it, I don't think, just near it. So let's try this and let's watch the health. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought. All right, so it is set up. Also, let's watch the uh, armor. So it doesn't take any armor away, right? No. Okay, so it doesn't hurt your armor. It does take health. It does not take natural absorption health because that would just be so ridiculously easy and overpowered. All right, so basically, you know what I, I need to do? And I'll do something a little better later. But what I need to do is let's start with the spirit water. Uh, I didn't think to do this ahead of time, of course, or obviously, maybe. But let's just do like this. We'll put that there, that there, that there, and this here. Oh, I just broke it. Hmm. I think I broke it. Did I break it, or is it? does it just need... Oh, okay, there. It's good. Yeah, so I want to put the spirit water right here because that's going to give me the regen. Uh, a little bit of regen. I mean, it's not fast. It's it's like half a heart every five seconds or something. So it's not going to be a great, like, long-term powerful solution unless you want to just stand here for ten minutes, come back and get a little bit of life, and then... I hope that's just a rendering bug and it's not actually losing the, the blood. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, let's go ahead and put some blood in here. And I'll get myself down pretty low. And then we're going to drop a diamond in it. You just drop it? No, you... Oh, you right-click it with the diamond. That's what you do. Uh, okay, so let's right-click it with the diamond. And now it should be... We get these pretty little particles. Uh, it should be changing that diamond into something we need. One of the very first things. Well, not very first, but close to the very first things we need to make blood magic go. So I think it, it takes a little while, but I think the red particle effects are good. I think those are saying yes, yes, you know, the, the blood is oozing out of your altar and into your diamond, I think, maybe? I hope so. I think it turns like gray or black if it runs out of juice, runs out of blood magic, or uh, blood so we're just going to keep doing this for a minute. Come on. You can do it. Come on. There we go. I was just about to say I'm going to speed this up. All right. So that has turned our diamond into a weak blood orb. And this is a way to store life essence now. So there's lots of things to do, lots of things to do, lots of things to do. But uh, one of the first things I want to do, this makes it all so much easier to figure out, is we want to make this divination sigil. 
divination sigil. I had found it last night. Where did it go? There? No. All right. I am totally not seeing it right now. Okay. Divination sigil. This is this is the thing we want to make. Okay. So to make this, basically, we need some glass. We need our uh, blood orb. And it doesn't look like we actually need any life points to do this. And a blank slate. How do you get a blank slate? You put a piece of stone and a thousand life points into your um, altar. So let's put a piece of stone in there and let's put the knife in our finger again. Prick and get some more blood out here. Now it looks like I did get fully healed there so so that's good. Somebody I'm sure knows, uh, is it 200? I think it's 200. Um, oh yeah, see how the Shoot. I should have stored up more before I started this. Did you see how the particle effects stop? Oh, wait. No, it's done. Never mind. <laughs> it's done. That's a slate. Okay. Um, I think it's maybe 200 of the things for the things. Did I bring? Yes. This, this, and this. Now, do we have a crafting table out here? Yes, we do. Right there. Okay. So, the divination sigil. Sigil? Sigil? Sigil. Sigil. Yeah, definitely. Oh, no shift click apparently. Okay, blank slate and some of these guys. I only brought five. I need seven. Well, that would probably explain why the shift click didn't work. Might explain it. I need to get two more glass. And let's just go this direction and pop into here for a second. Ooh, nice and refreshing. Okay, and, and, there we go. Got the divination sigil, got the weak blood orb. Okay, so with the divination sigil, if I right click in the air, it says I have zero life points. Now if I right click with the blood orb, it hurts me, just like the, the sacrificial knife did. And now it says I have 200 life points. So yes, there we go. Uh, each... Each click with the sacrificial knife or the blood orb gives you 200. Now the knife, I think, makes it go into the altar, and this one goes well into the orb. Um, so let's let's right click now on the altar with this sigil, and we'll get current essence 800 life points, current tier one, and 10,000 as capacity. Okay, so let me just right click with this again with the orb. Kind of just testing a little bit here because I'm trying to remember all the things. All right, so I did it with the orb, and I still have 800 in the altar, but now I have 400 in my orb. All right, so if you want to charge up the orb, you do it with, well, if you right-click the orb, it charges the orb. If you right-click the sacrificial knife while next to the altar, then it charges up the altar. So uh, basically going to be doing a bit of this and waiting for this to recharge. It's, again, not super fast, but um, it's something. Maybe you guys know a better way to, to regen in this pack. I mean, if I get the gas tiers going, I can make regen potions, but that's not exactly a renewable resource. Um, I can do magical crops and grow gas tiers at some point. Well, ga gas essence, which makes gas tiers at some point, so I don't know, maybe regen potions are a good deal for this. Maybe there's some other way to do it. So, yeah, if you got any tips, just let me know, and uh, that would be great. All right, so we're at 2,000, and, uh, yeah, I'm going to just kind of charge things up for a little bit here. Got our basic setup going, and um, we're, we're ready to just basically charge things for a while, and i got to figure out kind of what the next step is. I mean, there's a ton of stuff we can do with this, but a lot of it requires higher level. Uh, higher tier things. And again, I am by no means a uh, expert at this. See, there's there's a bunch of alchemy. I've never messed with any of that. So we got to do these alchemy things and we got to do, what's this? That's pretty. Aether? Oh, interesting. I know you can make this different sigils and they do stuff. So blood lamps and well, there's there's the divination sigil. Of course, I couldn't find it before. Uh, void, 
water so we can finally get infinite water and this is actually used to make the watering can so if I make some more magic fertilizer and that water sigil I can make a watering can and uh, water the crops to make them grow faster don't really need that for food but it might be fun to do that for um, some of the magic crop stuff what is what does this take maybe we'll do that so oh yeah we just need the wheat it's exactly the same thing we just did with glass except we need water buckets uh, and does it take life points See, I thought these took life points so maybe any eye just doesn't show it how about um, air sigil Ooh. okay so that takes a higher tier one that takes apprentice instead of uh, the weak one so we need to get that I think that one will let you like not fly but kind of just like a gush of air kind of blows you a direction so you can just kind of kind of almost lunge and in a direction or something uh, yeah so let's like I said let me go ahead and I'll, I'll do oh haste oh that would be so good master blood orb wow all right so to get to master we need a weak blood shard a tier 4 altar 40,000 of the wait, how do you get a weak blood shard you need it what you need a master blood orb to make you need a master blood orb and a weak blood shard to make a blood shard okay confused I don't know how you get a weak, uh, blood shard but anyway that's pretty far down the road um yeah oh that was the last thing I was gonna mention these are some crazy ridiculous tools these bound tools uh they oh they're disabled there's no well there's no recipe for them does that mean they're disabled I don't know I I don't know how you make them anyway but these things are super powerful and yeah I mean they're they are crazy powerful they probably are disabled in blood and bones but I think like the pickaxe I think it digs like a nine by nine by nine cube or something like that every time you use it it's it's pretty crazy okay so let's uh, yeah let me take a break here I'm going to fill up the old altar a bit more and think a little bit about kind of what my next steps are with blood magic but I think we've got time we can do a bit more blood magic today let me see if I can figure out something cool to do back on a few alrighty folks I'm back and down here gonna craft a little something so I put the water here for a second so I looked through some of the recipes um, the only thing I saw I could really make is a sprinkling can but with the fertilized dirt I don't really have any desire to stand around holding a sprinkling can anyway I don't think I really want to do that so um, I'm not quite sure what to work on here I'm gonna have to do some research actually because there's a bunch of things here that were not in the mod or at least I don't remember them being in the mod when I uh, looked at this last time so uh, yeah all these spell powers and, and dampeners and all that uh, I have no idea what all this stuff does so if you got oh spell conduits really uh -huh. looks like we can do a whole bunch of cool stuff but uh, yeah looking for suggestions from you guys let me know what you think is cool to work on and I'm gonna do a little bit of research between videos as well uh, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna upgrade to a tier 2 um, thing altar and the way we do that is we make eight of these blood runes blood runes take normal stone blank slates and the weak blood orb uh, and then once we have those we can upgrade them to other things by the way so speed runes um, this is weird it doesn't really show Oh, maybe it does maybe oh, it's probably changed recipe all right so we can change it to the speed rune which will make the uh, processes go faster the one I kind of want is here this rune of sacrifice which actually doesn't take blood runes interesting uh, that's gonna take reinforced slate which comes from the tier 2 altar with 2,000 life power and the apprentice blood or which comes from a tier 2 altar with 5,000 life power and an emerald so I'm going to work on this and get a, a an apprentice orb uh, next. But let's make, there we go, come on. Let's make the, um, what are these called again? Blood 
Blood runes. Right. So that should be not enough for... F I didn't multiply correctly. I need twice that many stones. So yeah, okay. Hang on. One minute. I need eight of those and I only got enough uh, smooth stone for four of them. So my bad. Three of those. Oh, it's six. It's not three. Duh. Okay. Yeah, that was just dumb. Okay. That should be enough. For some reason I just went, hey, there's three on the top and three on the bottom. That's three, isn't it? Mm -hmm. No. Okay, let's do this. Oh, of course, I can't do that one yet because not stacked that high. Come on. Last one. There we go. All right, eight blood runes, and that's going to let us make our tier two altar. So I took away the top section of blocks here, and um, what we want to do is put these blood runes down in place of those. So basically a tier 2 altar is just the altar on top of 8 blood runes. The middle block doesn't matter, I don't believe. And now, there we go. Current essence is only 50 life points, but the tier is 2. So now I can start making tier 2 stuff. For instance, that uh, apprentice. There we go, apprentice orb. So I'll go and get 5,000 life points in here, and I'll get an emerald, and I'll get the apprentice orb. And I'll do a little bit of research off camera here, but uh, yeah, if you guys have some ideas, oh yeah, I brought these. Uh, if you guys have some good ideas on what to do with, um, what's this thing called, blood magic? Yeah. Okay, I didn't bring enough for that. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, what to do with blood magic? Kind of where to go with it on this uh, on blood and bones? I would be. Super happy to hear about that. I always love getting your comments, but in this case, uh, yeah, really kind of need them. I know there's a lot of cool stuff you can do, but I don't know exactly what to kind of go for. Now, I've heard about potions uh, a couple times now. Let me just sacrifice some more. Oh, and don't hold down the button uh, because you'll kill yourself. I didn't do it, but I know you will, so... Um, yeah, I've heard about potions, and I went through all of this. None, none of this looks like potions. But there is alchemy, and there are, you know, agents and reactants and all sorts of stuff. So somehow, I guess you combine some of these things, and you make potions out of it or something. But uh, I am going to have to go do some research on that to figure out what the heck you got to do to get potions going. All right. That's it, guys. I'm going to sacrifice my life to the blood altar of doom or whatever this is uh, so that we can make some cool stuff next next episode uh, and definitely leave me some comments because this one is going to go up uh, probably tomorrow I still need to edit and upload and all that stuff but uh, I will definitely have a chance to read some of your comments before I record the next episode so looking forward to seeing what you guys think I should do with blood magic all right Hope you guys enjoyed it. Catch you next time.